Last week, I got exclusive access on the Lost and Found Air Jordan 1s, and I just got my package in the mail, and I'm excited to give you guys my first impressions of this shoe. Normally on this channel, when I get special releases like this, I love to give you guys in-depth reviews and comparisons with sneakers like this, so don't worry, we'll still get that done, but right now, we need to just crack open this box and see what the shoe is looking like. All right, you guys, moment of truth right here. We got the receipt right here. And again, we'll talk about all the details. You got the cool paper right here. And then you peel that back. You got a set of white paper. And then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. So when it comes to my first impressions of this sneaker, honestly, this is very, very interesting because the red leather is a little bit different than I expected it to be. It's got more of a dull look to it, which again, we'll talk about that later when it comes to the comparison review. But overall, this shoe is looking really, really nice. Now, I know there's gonna be a lot of conversation when it comes to the sneaker being the sneaker of the year. We have competition with the Ama 4s, some people saying the Fire Red 3s, and don't get me wrong, they did a really good job when it comes to the Fire Red 3s. But at the end of the day, the OG Air Jordan 1 Chicago in particular, this colorway, this model, it's just very hard to beat. So for those of you that haven't seen this shoe in person yet, as I feel the materials, they feel pretty solid, pretty thick, everything feels pretty nice on there. On the toe, it definitely does have that rougher finish to it and it's got that kind of aged vintage cracked look when it comes to the white leather on the toe box and then right here on the side panels wrapping up to the back end and then you got around the collar right here similar to that og 1985 vibe right here you got that classic cracked black leather so some people are probably wondering about this which again we'll get into the history lesson and all the iconic moments of this sneaker when we talk about the in-depth review but for those that don't know these are called the lost and founds because the whole idea behind this shoe is you found these back in an old storage room or something at an old sneaker shop next thing you know you got a pair of classic chicago ones and it's got the receipt and everything like that giving you that old school nostalgic vibe bringing those kind of memories back from the 80s so it's dope to see them reiterate that kind of branding and that kind of storytelling through the sneaker but it was definitely very interesting to see that they went with the new retro cut compared to the 85 cut which we have seen on previous models like the georgetowns the reverse breads the new beginnings pack you know different things like that so for me it's kind of interesting to see that because i was thinking and i was going to be under the pressure when we first heard the air jordan one chicago reimagined i was thinking they were going to do that in the 85 cut giving us the chicago colorway let me know what you guys think about that down below in the comment section i know some people have talked about it and i've had that conversation with other people as well i think i probably would have preferred that but at the end of the day when it comes to copping this shoe, I definitely want the shoe either way. And speaking of that, I got exclusive access on these on Sneakers app. So basically what that means, hopefully I still have the screenshots, but if I do, I'll pop them up here on the screen. Basically they granted me exclusive access. It was actually crazy because the access went out at 9 a.m. on the West Coast time and I was asleep. And I woke up around 9.45 and when I saw it, I was like, I think I got access. I went to my app, I clicked on it, and it said exclusive access and purchase now 180 bucks. I clicked the button and it just automatically, it didn't even, it just like got them. And I was like, is this real? Like I didn't, I couldn't even believe it in the moment. Like that was really tripping. So I saw that, I was happy obviously. And then I was like hitting all my friends like, yo, check and see if you got access. I just got the shoe like 45 minutes after. And I went to Instagram and I saw other people were hitting on the shoe. So I think when it comes to quantity and everything, I think it will be fairly accessible. We talk about pricing and everything later in the other video as well, compared to the other models and the trends that will happen in the future. But as of right now, the sneakers hitting for somewhere around, you know, 350, 400 bucks, somewhere around there. And that's all gonna be relative to size as well. I'm a size 13, so that does play a different factor my shoes naturally just are a little bit more when it comes to the resale value so I'm I'm definitely happy to get these for 180 bucks and I will be trying to go after these again when they come out on the actual release date on the 19th also speaking of that if you guys want to see a how to cop video for this sneaker when the release date comes let me know down in the comment section like spam the comment section for me if you guys want to see that video and I'll try to make sure I get that out as soon as possible so that way you guys can enter or do whatever it takes to get into the most odds or the highest percent chance of getting this shoe for your collection because I'm sure a lot of people like this shoe and speaking of that i did a poll on my instagram story to see what everybody else thinks and this is what they said 96 percent of the people chose fire and four percent of the people chose trash so simply from that poll result alone i think a lot of people like this shoe so let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section i wanted to give you guys a quick in-hand look and just talk about my overall cop experience because this was just a crazy one i was not expecting it i woke up late wasn't even thinking about it, it had crossed my mind that 
people was talking about there might be exclusive access the next day and I slipped it. Either way, I ended up copying the shoe. I was a happy camper when it comes to that aspect and I'm excited to give you guys an in-depth review. These are just a few right here. Trust me, we got the KOs, we got the patent leathers. I got a bunch of different versions when it comes to the Chicago's. I'm still missing the Spider-Mans, man. I'm slacking. I'm slacking. Either way, I'm gonna try to get those for the review. I'm gonna give you guys a full in-depth review comparison with as many Chicago models as I possibly can. And with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And again, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you on another one. All right, y'all, peace. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.